What is your body count? <laughs> What's up you guys? It's your girl Megan Rolte and I'm back with another video. In today's video, we're gonna be doing a truth a drink. I got my Moscato here. It was on chill, so this bottle's looking real cold and ready for me, baby, okay? So I asked Instagram and Twitter. So if you're not following me on Instagram or Twitter, be sure the links are down below in the description box. On my story, I asked Instagram to um, either um, send in some of your assumptions about me and I'm going to truthfully answer them or drink or ask me questions. Some of them I answered on my story, but then I then it kind of dawned on me like, listen, you can be doing this on YouTube for some content, baby. So that's when I'm like, all right, I'm going to put those questions on pause. I didn't answer all of them and I was definitely like, I'm about to do this video, honey. And I'm just like, I can do a video with this, with these, with this, okay? So, all right, guys. So, let's go. You guys did, um, I screenshotted them because this was a few days ago. So, I definitely screenshotted them. Let me go to it, honey. This is some of the questions right here. Okay, so. Like I was saying, it's either an assumption or a question. Let me open this Moscato real quick. Like, hold on, this is the best part, baby. Not missing the best part. Y'all know what I did? So, this is a twist off bottle. I literally try to put the corkscrew in here, and my dumbass realized that it's a twist off bottle. So, <laughs> let me twist it off, honey, okay? Okay, like, let's get this ready, honey. I'm gonna sit this right there. And I'm gonna put this right here. The first one. Well, I don't know if this is the very first one, but this is the first one on the screenshot, honey. Um, you are very sexual when you're comfortable. Had to get. Oh, you're very sexual when you're comfortable. Hard to get, but a cool person when you open up. Definitely, definitely, definitely me. I am a um, very sexual person, but I'm not just like that with anyone off the rip. But when it's time to get my purr on, this <laughs> is okay. So, um, but yeah, that's a very true assumption. But um, I'll drink just because, okay? Like, um, let me start getting this, getting my tipsy on. <laughs> All right, y'all. So the next question is, you are single, but would love to be in a relationship. Um... I mean, <laughs> okay, not having to put my hair back, honey. Okay, like, let me think real quick. <laughs> but, um, somewhat because, I mean, who wouldn't? I mean, I'm only getting older. I'm not, you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna try to live the city girl life for the rest of my life, honey. But, um, it's not that serious for me right now because I'm just trying to be so focused on myself and you know how I would go with that whole relationship thing like you know what I'm saying that's kind of like on the back burner right now because I owe myself a lot baby but I would basically yes that's a true assumption I'm single but would love to be not only in a relationship but in a healthy um one with purpose okay so not just any old relationship just to be like oh i got a man and he just treat me like shit and he don't got shit for me and hell to the no okay so <laughs> i'm close you know you was close but not all like that okay um the next one you got that mean necatron <laughs> oh my god not the necatron baby okay and i'm gonna leave i'm gonna drink to that because it's for me to know and you to find out baby <laughs> i'll drink to that but this one is good. It's like so sweet. Barefoot Moscato, y'all. Okay. Um, you love to cuddle and watch a good movie. Uh, <sighs> cuddle and watch a good movie. Yeah, fuck it. Why not? <laughs> um, next one. You're afraid of heights. Yes, I'm definitely afraid of heights. Like, I'm five feet and I'm short and I'm close to the ground for a reason, honey. Yes, I am afraid of heights. <laughs> you got that right, sis. You only fuck with dudes who trick on you. <laughs> who, me? <laughs> no, um... I mean, now, at this point in my life, that does kind of have some truth to it. 
because it's like mm, I'm not gonna say trick on me but you're not tricking on you it's not I wouldn't say trick on me no I would say a man that's gonna invest in me yes because tricking is like you just make it rain on some hoochie mama and it's just like ain't gonna mean shit no I'm gonna be bomb okay like I'm gonna be great I ain't you know what I'm saying you, you doing what you gotta do I'm gonna be doing what I gotta do you know what I'm saying so I mean, it ain't tricking if you got it, but um, if you want to put it as in you only fuck with dudes who would invest in you, yes, okay? Because at least I would rather, I would rather, um, you know what I'm saying? At least be getting something out of the situation, honey. Not, you know what I'm saying? Even though the whole point of messing with somebody, you know, you want love and affection and stuff like that. But um, I need some investment, honey, okay? And invest, invest in me, honey, okay? I assume you are looking for the right person to grow old with and have kids so life can be pleasant uh no that's definitely not true i do not want no kids i don't want no i don't want no other kids than the ones i have now i have two daughters and we're leaving it like that two little bloodies okay and that is fine with me i do not want no more kids so um with the whole that um <laughs> you're wrong honey you're wrong <laughs> so I'm, all right y'all so now i'm about to get in, into some of the questions that i was asked on instagram those were more so the assumptions so now i'm about to get into the questions so let's get into those i also screenshotted those so let me go find those right quick do you um do you currently have a crush on anyone um <laughs> Kind of okay. I'm gonna keep it right with y'all because it's truth to drink. Okay, well, let me drink so I can tell the truth. Okay, <laughs> let me drink so I can tell the truth, baby. I mean, um, there was this guy that I was feeling. Um, I'm not gonna say it was, it is this guy that I am feeling, but um, it's like, have you ever felt like you want to, like, um, hold on, let me clean the let me clean this lens because it don't even look clear. <laughs> Not trying to stall some time so I don't gotta answer the question, honey. Okay. Do you have a question on anyone? Yeah, okay, well, there was a point recently that I had like a super big crush on someone, but I don't know if y'all can relate, but it's like I kinda wanted to stop talking to him before he like hurt my little feelings. So I kind of like made a problem. Um, that's one of my very toxic traits. I kind of make problems so it could be like, all right, this is going too good, honey. What you trying to do? Break my heart and have me in shambles on the floor like right now. But um, so as of right now, um, <sighs> kind of, but not really. Okay, <laughs> kind of, but not really. Okay. What is your biggest pet peeve? My biggest pet peeve is definitely people wearing sneakers in their house like i don't know why but sneakers in your freaking house is so nasty to me like i really don't know what it is but it's like even when i'm in someone else's house and they're like wearing their sneakers like i like i literally like i don't like of course i don't say anything because it's your house whatever but i'm like low-key cringing like you're wearing your sneakers in there what is your body count <laughs> I'll drink to that, okay? <laughs> you in my business? Don't do that. What is your biggest turn on? Listen here. My biggest turn on is when a person does what they say and they say what they mean. Like, because my biggest turn off is when someone is just lying. Like, you just capping. Like, there's just so much capping. You're right, baby. Like, everything you say is like, I got to make sure. And I got to check. And, you know what I'm saying? I, I, like, a big turn on is when someone is just like, you know, like, I'm what I'm saying is the real shit. I ain't about to be here playing with you. Like, okay? Like, it's definitely a turn on, okay? Come on, camera. Focus. Can you focus on me? When was the last time you cried? Hmm. I'm a crybaby, so I would probably say it wasn't too long ago, because I love a good cry. Right? My last cry was probably like a week or so ago. Like, y'all, I be crying. Like, I don't, like, big girl, who said big girls don't cry, girl? I be crying. I be crying. I be crying. But, um, definitely like a week or so ago. Have you ever cheated on someone? Um, ever in life? Yeah. <laughs> yeah you feel me but um am i a cheater like you know as to in today's world no <laughs> i must be already getting tipsy like not in today's world like what i wouldn't honestly i wouldn't date someone right now 
just to cheat on them. Like, I, especially how focused I am. It's like, if I'm going to be dating you and we're really fucking around, you know what I'm saying? It's not going to be like, oh, let me fuck around with this dude to cheat. You feel what I'm saying? Like, if anything, we'll have an understanding. You know what I'm saying? Like, we can be really rocking real hard or whatever the case may be. But, you know what I'm saying? You, you're you not obligated to me. Like, I'm not obligated to you. You know what I'm saying? Like, but as in, like, cheating, cheating? No. Nah. What's the most drunk you ever been? Ooh, okay. So, I want to say this was years ago, y'all. I was really, really lit. Um... I want to say 2012, 2013, because I, I don't get lit like that now. Like, that's disgusting. Okay? That's why I <laughs> to begin all drunk, okay? Like, tipsy one thing, but drunk, so I'll go sit the fuck down with a bet. But, um, like, the last, um, what was, okay, so what was the most drunk you ever got? Not when, okay. So, the most drunk I ever got was really, um, it was like 2012, 2013, and I was just on this fucking... Patron wave like I love like I like Patron now but I love Patron like I loved Patron okay and I remember I was just mad lit like went to go see this nigga we got lit went to go see my girls we was drinking too and I remember like I had to go pee cause you know that, that that's him and him when you drink you gotta pee whatever and I had to pee so bad y'all I literally just pissed on myself and I, I, I don't even know if I even took a shower or what, but I just remember I literally just laid down because I was just so done. And I'm just like, excuse me. And I just woke up that next morning. I just woke up that next morning. And I'm like, yo, like you were literally pissy drunk last night. Like that is disgusting. But that was years ago, y'all. I haven't got like that in so long, but that was a drunk i ever been when i was literally pissy drunk okay like not cute um have you ever broken the law <laughs> like i'm really gonna record that and tell you about that okay <laughs> y'all got me drinking all fast too <laughs> not not blaming it on y'all honey okay you know somebody got a problem when they don't want to blame it on themselves okay when everybody else is the issue all right y'all the next one What is the most disgusting thing you ever have done? Ooh. I'm like, I'm not even sure if I even want to tell you guys. Um, the most disgusting. Oh. Yeah, I know what the most disgusting thing I ever did. I'm a drink though. I'm a drink though. I am not about to embarrass myself on my YouTube, okay? Um. <laughs> let me see. Um. Um, have you ever peed in the shower? <laughs> Zah, don't we all? <laughs> well, I don't do it every single day, but I feel like, you know, we be peeing in the shower, right? Where's the weirdest place you've ever had sex? Around, you guys are getting. <laughs> Y'all trying to know about you against this Megan, honey, huh? But the weirdest place, I would say, um... The weirdest place I ever had sex, I would probably say at a playground. Like, I was literally at the playground, like, with a whole blanket. Because this at the time, I had a blanket in my trunk or whatever. I literally had a blanket. Like, we was going at it like we was in somebody's bedroom, okay? Like, we was at somebody's hotel, honey. Like, I would say that was kind of weird. Um, It was at nighttime, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't, like, on no perverted, like, midday. The kids are playing on the swing and I'm under the slide going the fuck off. Like, no. But, um... I would say that was pretty weird because it's like the, especially like how comfortable we were with it. It was like, oh, we was whatever. It was just too much. <laughs> it was too much, baby. What's the worst thing anyone ever done to you? <laughs> okay, not getting Zeke, baby, but um, the worst thing that anyone has ever done to me. <sighs> We're not taking a deep breath, okay? Not giving me anxiety. Not, not having to crack these windows and turn on these fans, honey. I'm not about to cry, honey. Okay, but the worst thing that anyone has ever done to me, I would say would probably most likely be a guy. And probably just broke my heart, honestly, because, like, I feel like that's the worst thing you can do to somebody. Like, just act like you're just, like, you know, not going to be, like, this horrible person in their life. And then you become that horrible person in their life and just... It's really devastating and it hurts. Like breakups hurt. Like breakups hurt. Whether it's a breakup from your from your your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your mom, your dad, your 
um friend because friend breakups can be crazy too you know what i'm saying so i would say it's most likely just probably like the most the worst thing probably someone probably did to me was not break up but like hurt my heart break my heart type shit in the process so i'm very sensitive y'all like <laughs> What's the most embarrassing thing you ever done? Okay, I don't know the most embarrassing thing I've ever, ever, ever done. But, y'all, I think I told y'all, like, it was sometime last year. Like, it wasn't even this year. Glamazante, one of my favorite YouTubers, y'all. Y'all probably heard of her. She's lit, like, sis is, sis is doing her, period, okay? So, Glamazante was live. And she used to go live all the time with her ex, Courtney, whatever. The basketball player that she used to fuck with. You know, Glamazante's lesbian, whatever, blah, blah. So she was going live and I'm like, oh, she's live, whatever. And she was like asking people to come on live. And you know what I'm saying? Like it was a spell. They wanted to, it was like a spelling contest. That's what it was. So it was a spelling contest. They're like going live and, you know, just spell and like just show motherfuckers that you're smart. Okay. And me being the um, dictionary, uh, the Saurus I am, I'm like, okay, like I'm about to go on live. I'm about to request to go on live and I'm about to <laughs> spell my ass off, period. And it was crazy because, <laughs> it was crazy because I was kind of like trying to hurry up and I threw some concealer on and probably a little bit of foundation powder and like probably some lip gloss real quick, like real, real quick, like boop, boop, let me hurry up while this shit's going. Like, since so she don't got time to be trying to look all extra cute. Y'all, tell me why I put the request in to go live. Mind you, I didn't even think it was going to be, I was even going to be accepted because mind you, there's like 300 people watching live simultaneously. Like, everybody's in there. Listen here, when I tell you guys that I literally went on there looking like a fucking clown, my makeup looked crazy. Like, I swear to you, my makeup never looked like that a day in my fucking life. I don't know why I look like that in front of 300-something people online with my favorite YouTuber live. I don't know why. I don't know why. But that was so freaking embarrassing, y'all. Like, I was so freaking embarrassed. And I just... <sighs> y'all it just stressed me it just stresses me out thinking about the shit now okay like it was really fucked up what's a secret you never told anyone <laughs> okay not a secret i ain't never told anyone you think i'm about to tell it on youtube baby okay so i guess i'm gonna drink to that <laughs> y'all i'm literally kind of well, i said literally I'm literally <laughs> not trying to be a southern belle. I'm literally, no, I'm literally tipsy. I think it's because usually when I drink wine, I drink it slow. But the fact that I'm drinking it like it's a motherfucking Kool-Aid right now, I'm definitely kind of tipsy. Um, When's the last time you lied? Mm. Honestly, I don't really lie. Like, and that's not a lie, okay? <laughs> not saying it, but you're lying right there. But, no, I don't really lie to be, like, all the way 100 with you guys. I don't really lie because, like, I just feel like, what the fuck am I lying to you for? You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> and you are, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't, um, I don't, I really don't lie like that. I'm not even going to lie to you. <laughs> okay? And I'm not even going to lie about that, baby. But, no, I really don't lie. So, the last time I lied, um... Maybe it was my last time when I had a run in with the law or like the last time when I didn't get want to get fired from a job. Maybe I did something on a low low. But other than that, honestly, like, the, I, don't, I really don't know the last time I lied because I don't lie often. And it was definitely no, no time recently because I just feel like nobody is nobody to be lying to. I'm like, am I lying because you're going to, you know, it's going to fuck up my money? Am I lying because, like, I'm going to be going to jail after this? Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to just be lying to motherfuckers just because you might not like what I'm going to say, Okay. So, I don't know when that was, honey, but um, <laughs> it was no time recently, okay? Um, do you have a hidden talent? Um, well, yes, I do. <laughs> but I'm not telling you. <laughs> Why did your last relationship break down? <laughs> not break down, honey. Um, okay. <laughs> Why did my last relationship break down? Okay, not about to cry. Like, ooh, okay, no, no, let me stop. My last relationship broke down. <laughs> I think that's a funny way to put it. Like, not broke down. Like, damn, okay. <laughs> like, since she was riding and you caught a flat, honey, what the fuck happened? But, um, 
my last relationship probably um broke down because um I was just try I was just <laughs> I'm nice y'all like lie. I was tired of feeding the relationship. I think it was I was feeding it and feeding it and I wasn't getting fed, if you if I can put it that way. And um like I feel like I was dating a real taker, like a real, real taker, you know? And I like to be giving things, you know what I'm saying? So I felt like that was where it was like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm like, baby, leave some for me, honey. Leave some for me. So yeah, I think that's really why um my last relationship broke down. <laughs> if you had to get back with an ex, who would you choose? <laughs> What's the worst intimate experience you ever had? Um, I would say the most, the, I mean the worst intimate experience I ever had was like years back. It was no time recently. Um. I haven't been getting my bop on in a minute, y'all. Like, you know, I do my one two like literally here and there, but uh, since I was experienced mommy galore like years ago. But um, I would say my wait, what was the question? The worst um, intimate experience you ever had? Yeah, I would say my worst intimate experience I ever had was one time this guy he was like boasting and bragging and. Bogan, I don't even know if that's a real word, but he was just going the fuck off about um eat me out, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like <laughs> put his little buttons, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, sure, you know what I'm saying? Like whatever. Like I wasn't really big on it because honestly I didn't even get it. I only got it so many times, so I wasn't even really tripping about it. And I finally let him do it, y'all, and he literally was chewing on it like it was gum. Like it literally hurt so bad. Like, to the point I literally had to tell him, like, to stop. Like, he's like, no, like, I love it. Like, no, get the fuck off of me, okay? <laughs> I don't care what you're loving over here, but you're the only one loving it, and you can go to fuck head, okay? What's your biggest fantasy? No, my biggest fantasy probably would be, um, um, I'm drinking, but I'm gonna answer y'all, I'm gonna answer. <laughs> Having a threesome, all girls. All girls, okay? All bad girls, too. Not just, you know, ragamuffins and scragglers and shit like that. But I don't know. I think that would definitely be one of my biggest fantasies. Like, I think that would be very, 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 very lit, okay? All right, guys. So, I'm going to wrap up this video now because I am nice. I may even go live today. Who knows? Um, maybe not. Maybe. I don't know. But I'm going to wrap up this video, guys. Thank you guys for participating on Instagram with your assumptions and your questions about, you know, the road tea and what's going on with me and how I feel about this or that. Thank you guys so, so, so much. Because look at you. Well, we made a whole 20-something minute content video, okay? But don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're new to my channel. And I'm going to catch you guys in my next video. You got it, girl. You got it. Life is good. <laughs>